Galahad is the purest of all King Arthur's knights. He is the son of Lancelot, the most famous of all the knights he had with Princess Elaine of Corbenic. But the union between his mother and father was a lie. Lancelot was bewitched and believed that Guinevere was his true love. After discovering the farce of that marriage, Lancelot abandoned the princess and his son was raised in a convent. Galahad grew up and showed qualities to be as good a knight as his father. Merlin had prophesied that Lancelot's son would overcome his father and find the Holy Grail. Galahad became a great warrior and even defeated Lancelot in a duel. Impressed, his father introduced him to King Arthur. There was a vacant seat on the round table, which was known as the Dangerous Seat, for all who sat on it would die immediately. It was meant for anyone who could find the Holy Grail. Everyone was surprised when Galahad sat on it and survived. Impressed, Arthur decided to test him, to see if he would be worthy to become one of his knights. Galahad was challenged to remove a sword from a stone that could be only removed by the greatest knight in the world, and the young man achieved that feat. The king, convinced by the act, consecrated the knight, and Galahad became known as the best of all knights. Arthur sent all his best knights on a mission in search of the Holy Grail. Almost all of them failed, as only the purest knights could achieve this feat. Not even Lancelot found the Grail. Galahad, Bors, and Percival were the only knights who managed to overcome the obstacles towards the sacred chalice. Galahad managed to find the Holy Grail. Then he was taken by angels. Percival and Bors witnessed Galahad's rise. Galahad's coat of arms had a red cross on a white background, a symbol that would then be appropriated by the Knights Templars. These knights considered the legend of Galahad a great source of inspiration. After all, there was no knight purer than Galahad.